Um, the next match, the World Heavyweight Championship from SmackDown. It'll be a triple threat match. It'll be kind of an unusual one. It will... The focus of it will be... Well, The Undertaker right now is world champ. He survived last night against Batista in the chair match. But I think Batista will somehow win the World Heavyweight Championship. He'll be the champ on SmackDown. Um, yeah, I think he will renew his rivalry with Rey Mysterio. Uh, Rey Mysterio will also compete in this match. But there, I think I heard also talk that they were planning on maybe doing CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio for the world title. CM Punk bringing uh, the artist formerly known as Festus. Uh, now known as Luke Gallows, into his corner. Um, so the triple threat match for the world title will be Batista versus Rey Mysterio versus CM Punk. Um, they've got all the young guys pretty much booked in the Battle Royal just to give them some notoriety and some existence. Um, and then in the previous three matches I told you about, um, the Ed Jericho match is on SmackDown, by the way. And, uh, very interesting. You got two heels and one face, uh, or three heels if you really hate Rey Mysterio because he's been taking some time off because of his injuries. I think it was a knee injury that was almost going to sideline him. And he said he was going to work, try and work through it through WrestleMania, which may be a mis mistake. But you got th triple threat rules. Batista, Mysterio, and Punk. Out of all of them, I think CM Punk will probably win that match and take the world title. Luke Gallows will probably get in the way. Um, but yeah, I think CM Punk is going to take the World Heavyweight Championship. This will be his... Was it fourth reign already? His world champ? The topsy-turvy title situation that has been in 2009 in WWE. But my prediction for that match would be CM Punk. <laughs> Interpromotional match. Very high stakes. Very, um, I don't know how much more you can really say about this one because it's another one that I think will happen, and here's why. The Raw on Madison Square Garden, the War Survivor Series, you saw at the end of that particular triple threat tag team battle, The Undertaker, Tombstone, John Cena, in the middle of the ring, and I think that is where the rivalry will begin to unfold. Cena has lost his belt. Undertaker's still world champ. I think he will lose that because what would you really need to do? Why would you need a title in a match like Undertaker and John Cena when you have the 17-0 streak of the Undertakers at WrestleMania, which every year you think he'll, at the last second, you think he's going to lose that ma the, his match and have his, that first crack in his WrestleMania record. But he comes out, comes very good in the end, um, and is victorious. And I know it'll be Undertaker versus Cena. It's something rather new. They talked about the Undertaker versus D. They've talked about a lot of guys who you could put in this particular match in Phoenix. Uh, Jericho, who's they've had a one-on-one -on -one encounter on SmackDown. Ted DiBiase talked about he would, would like to face the Undertaker. Uh... But John Cena, he's the current guy. He's the top guy of this generation in WWE. And it will not top. This match certainly will not top last year's great confrontation between Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, which is probably one of the top ten or top five WrestleMania matches of all time. Um... Just incredible energy for those, for Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, two guys that are almost over the hill, really. The Undertaker's like, oh, Undertaker's about 46 or 47 years old. Let's not forget, he's over six foot, six, six and a half feet tall, 300 pounds, he can still go. Um, and John Cena, very young, he's got a long time ahead of him. Um. I can't imagine what this is going to be like if they do this at WrestleMania. It's going to be incredible. I don't know how you could top the the sudden electricity and the heart your heart racing that experience that you had if you watched The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels wherever you were. If you were in Houston last year or you were sitting at home, um, 
just a classic matchup. I can't really describe it. I don't want to describe it. You got to see it for yourself, Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. But for this one, and it's hard always to predict these Undertaker matches because they say all good things have to come to an end sometime. But I don't think WWE could really end this undefeated streak. So I would probably go with The Undertaker. I think The Undertaker would uh, beat John Cena, which will probably please all of you. And I, can, I can't imagine the crowd. I think the crowd would all boo John Cena. And the crowd would just go on off for The Undertaker. Um, they both would be good guys, but no one seems to like Cena in this particular matchup. And that's the match that will follow the World Heavyweight Championship match. Um, that will get the crowd really going. And then it would be, then after that will be the Snack Break match, which will be another interpromotional battle. And last year, I believe, at the Great American Bash 2008, they brought the the Divas title into SmackDown, which was a long, which I think back, and that was a very long overdue thing to do. Raw now having a the Divas Championship, SmackDown having the Women's Championship, both brands having a Women's Championship, but I think it's long overdue because well, there's a lot of Divas. Um, the tag team... I guess the, the tag team division was suffering on both brands. That's why they unified the tag belts. There's a lot of divas, but I think it was a long overdue thing to do. So what basically we were going to do at WrestleMania, for we're going to have the deepest champ, which would be Maurice, who just came back, and I think we'll get the belt somehow, versus Mickey James, who lost to Michelle McCool at TLC in a women's title match. Mickey James will be the women's champ. Maurice will be the divas champ. And those two champions will face off for the unified, and some of you may be mad at me for giving it this title, but WWE is pretty much lambasting everything that was the golden oldie days and turning it into their trash. It will basically be Marie, Maurice, the Divas champ, versus Michelle, or versus Mickey James, the women's champ, for the unified Divas championship. One-on-one -on -one match, no Lumberjills. You're not using, you're not disposing the divas like you have the last three years. I mean, just ridiculous. We have not had a good divas match at WrestleMania since Trish and Mickey. Um, since WrestleMania 22, when Mickey James was the heel and she got cheered the heck out of in Chicago. Um, and she's in this matchup as divas champ. No other divas in this match, just a clean one-on-one -on -one battle. Maurice, Mickey James to determine a sole unified Divas champion. And I think Mickey James will take it. The whole Piggy James storyline sucks. That's really playing to the TVG crowd um, in that in, for that one. So it's just ridiculous. And even more ridiculous that Layla came out of the ring with a Piggy James shirt. Painful, painful. Mickey James walks out the winner of that. 